Bismillah wa salatu wa salamu ala rasulillah. Rabbi shrah li sadri wa yassir li amri wa hlil uqdatan min lisani yafqadu qawli. Rabbi yassir wa la tu'assir wa tammin bil khayr. Derived forms of the verb. So alhamdulillah we have covered up to five. The first one we know it's by default. Fa'ala yaf'al fa'lan. And then we have if'al fa'lu al-amr. La taf'al fa'lu nahi. Fa'ilun and maf'ulun. Fa'ilun is the doer and maf'ulun is the receiver of the action. Now, um, I don't want to scare you, but <clears throat> we should know that the first form of the verb, fa'ala, has six different types. So these six different types, inshallah, we have gone through them, like, you know, mudaf, you know, naqif, naqis, you know, ajwaf, you know, most of them. So what we are going to do, inshallah, now, um, I think in 27th lesson, we will start implementing and we will start the week letters and all that. So a uh, lesson to number like 27, 28, 29, and 30, these four or five lessons, and they are the gist of the Arabic language and also the gist of uh, book number two. As I told you, book number two is like, it's the peak of difficulty. And we have seen that like up to lesson number 24, it was all okay, but in 24, it got a little bit difficult. So, uh, but we know that inshallah, in the Ma'al Yusra, so we don't have to worry about that. Okay, so the second one, why do we call it Mazid Fi? As we can see, the first one is called Thulathi. Okay, yes. Because of the added letter. <clears throat> there is an addition of uh, letter. Yeah, Mazid okay, so the first one. Yes, so it will so be. Ayn is Mazid. Yes. Ayn, Aynul... So here we have the tashdeed is extra. Sabbaha you sabbihu tasbihan. And sabbih fail al amr, la to sabbih fail al nahi. And musabbihun is this small file, and musabbahun is this small mafrul. Okay, small file and small mafrul will follow the same pattern for all the 10 forms of the verb. Yani from 2 to 10. So all the nine forms of the verb, the derived forms of the verb, they follow the same pattern. There is a little bit of. Uh, um, like number nine, I think uh, there is a slight change, uh, whereas Ismul file and Ismul Mafud come on the same pattern. But as of now, what we know that the doer is Musabbihun and the, the, the Mafud is Musabbihun. Sorry? Yes, we have to understand from the context because they are on the both on the same scale, you mean to say? Um, yes, that's right. So it's, it depends like how they are used. Yeah. Okay, but inshallah, one, once we reach there, and these are the things which we are supposed to do in book number three, but I don't want you to like pile up everything. And once you reach book three, it will become very difficult to go through all these because they start in a row. So the Sheikh starts from two to 10. So we might like get fed up, like what's going on. So as of now you have some idea and you know that it is helping us a lot, by the way. We can explore more, we can understand more, and we can relate that this is um, the derived form of the verb. Because if we focus only on the first form of the verb, um, it's not enough because all these nine forms of the verbs, they will be used like in every sentence, everywhere in the Quran and everywhere in um, you know our books as well. So if we are able to figure out from now, inshallah, by the time we reach there, uh, you will be already inshallah expert. Okay, so the first one is tashdeed is extra. Uh, so the first one is our tiny finger, uh, which is the, the, the small finger that is number one because number one is smaller. So that, that's why we start from the tiny finger. Then on the second finger, uh, the ring finger, we will put tashdeed on that. So the second one is number two is sabbaha yusabbihu, which comes with the tashdeed. Then the third one is like, like the the big finger, which is also, as we can see here, we have extra alif. So alif is also extra here. It is jahada yujahidu mujahadatan. And fellow lamar is jahid, fellow nahilatu jahid. And uh, we have ismul file mujahidun and ismul mafur is mujahadun. The same pattern over here. The fourth form of the verb, what do you remember about it? It's the most common one used in the Quran. That's number one, excellent. Number two? And number four. 
Uh, what, what point number two about it? Uh, this is the only uh, some ever. effort. Some effort is needed from it's our not, side as well. Lala, as well. I'm talking. About it needs like, to. It needs my full line. Excellent. Okay. Uh -huh. Apparently, like, what difference do you see here? Um, uh, if you look at, if you look at the yeah, there is a master. If you look at the master, and if you look at the first form of the verb, which is aslama. This is the only form of the verb which has Express. Hamza as Hamza al Qatar. What is the meaning of Hamza al Qatar? Yani we have to it's read written. it. Yeah, we have to write it and we have to read it. And the reason why we say it's Qatar because Qatar means to cut. So it basically what happens, it cuts the word in between and our, our like breath is also stopped. We have to stop our breath to continue. For example, we say Min. Aina anta. So everywhere we say when we say min, and then we say aina hamza al qatar. Anta is also hamza al qatar. But hamza al wasl, we don't have to stop. It's like uh, it's in the flow. For example, we say wal asr. We say wal layl, wal shams. So there is hamza al wasl. We don't have to stop. We don't have to cut our um, conversation. So that's why this is called hamza al qatar. And it will be used in the first form of the verb, as we can see here, aslama. Then also when we use the masdar, the masdar also will be pronounced, yani the hamza will be pronounced clearly. For example, in the dina, in the lahil, islam, right? Islam, so we have to pronounce it properly. We cannot merge it or we cannot drop it. So that's why we call that this hamza is hamza al qatr and it has to be pronounced in every possible way. And also in Fail al-Amr, we have to pronounce it. Aslim, Adif, do you remember? Adkhil. So all of the Fail al-Amr, uh, we have to pronounce this Hamza. So that's why we say that this is Hamza al qatar and it has to be pronounced. We cannot drop it. This is number uh, one. This, scale, uh, this is the only scale where file amal we will uh, write the uh, hamza is completely different because in the rest of uh, the uh, fail amal it is uh, hamza tul wasal ustad. Uh, on the when we talk about the the, the the three root letters, yes, mm -hmm. uh, either it will be dhamma or it will be kasra. Khata, yeah, we have to yeah. uh, based on the third letter we have to put it, but which this is the only one which is khat. Okay. Yes, which this is, is like, the only one which is written. It's okay. fixed. Yeah, it's fixed. Yeah, it doesn't change. Okay. And that's why um, we have to put over there, like Fatha, we have to put over there. So next one is Tadabbara, which is, uh, so we have Tashdeed extra, Alif extra, Hamza extra. And now we have Ta and Tashdeed extra. So Tashdeed is basically the same that we have in number four, uh, number two, so sorry. Added a ta. There is an addition of Ta. So it's Tadabbara, Yatadabbaru. And also okay. Masdar has Dhamma. Tadabburan, it also has Dhamma, Tadabbur. And when we make Fail Al-Amr, Tadabbur, and Fail Al-Nahi, La Tadabbur. So all these uh, five forms of the verb, they don't have Kasra. They either have Dhamma or they have Fatha. Tadabbara, Ya Tadabbaru, Tadabburan, Tadabbur, La Tadabbur. So there is no Kasra in the first five forms of the verb. But when we make Ismul file, we know that Ismul file always takes the second last letter always takes kasra. So it is mutadabbir. And uh, ismul mafool will be mutadabbir. So the first, the second one has tashdeed extra, alif extra, hamza extra. Then we have ta tashdeed, and then we have ta alif. Number two, what is extra? The ayin was the Yeah, tashdeed is extra, yeah. And in number five, Tashdeed is there, and there is an addition and of ta. 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 Yeah. Okay. And similarly, in, in in the fourth one, jahada, we have alif extra, and here also we have alif extra, but there is an addition of ta. ta. So it is tadarasa, ya tadarasu, tadarasim. Um, here, okay. Do you remember anything about the third form of the verb jahada? There is occurs between two persons. It, yeah, so most of the times uh, uh, one is uh, one is the doer and the other is, is the receiver, is, is, is object, okay. 
Hello. Now, if we look here on uh, okay, if we look on this form of the verb, this form is used for groups to do something in a group. So the third form of the verb, it is two parties are involved, but one is the file and the other is the mafrul. One is the doer and the other is the receiver of the action. But in this form of the verb, everybody is a doer. There is no receiver. So tadarasa yatadarasu tadarusan, uh, to teach one another, to teach in a group. So where everyone is teaching one another, there is no one who is the student. So that's why it's used. And in the Quran, we have some examples as well. In Surah Al-Hujurat, we have some examples as well. So this verb, tadarasa, is not used in the Quran, but it's used in the Hadith, where it is like when the people sit together and then they uh, teach Quran to one another, then uh, Allah's angels come and then, you know, there's a, there is a Hadith Listen about it. Yeah. Yes. Yes, and then the mercy like covers them and all that. So serenity. Uh, yes, yes, that's right. Yeah. So if you see the sequence here, sabbaha, it is basically used when you make someone do something. Sabbaha is used to make someone to do something. But when we say tadabbara, so look at number two and number five, there is the extra. Here it is, you do something by yourself. Okay, I will give you only one example. We are not getting into so many details. For example, Nazala means he came down. But Nazala means he brought him down. Nazala Allah Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent the Quran. So that is Nazala to bring someone down, that you cause someone to do something. Then we use this form of the verb, which is sabbaha. You sabbihu, tasbihan. And uh, in tadabbara, there is ta extra. So that means it includes that we have to put some extra effort. So tadabbara, all the verbs that come on this pattern, it is reflexive, like the doer has to do something by himself and he has to put some extra effort. For example, look at the verbs tadabbur, tadabbara ya tadabbaru. So when we do tadabbur, we have to put some extra effort. Then we have tawakkul, tawakkala ya tawakkalu, tawakkulan. To have tawakkul, we have to put some effort. Tawakkul is not something that happens overnight. We have to put an effort to have tawakkul on, on the things that happen around us. It's easy to say, but it's difficult to practice. Similarly, we have tafakkar, tafakkara ya tafakkaru. So to think and to reflect about something. So number two is you cause someone to do something. And number four is, it, it is like you do something to yourself or by yourself. So this is the difference between number two and number five. So I didn't get it. Uh, sabbaha means uh, to glorify. So Actually, the person is glorifying. Yeah, la, la, sorry, yeah. So I need, to, I, I need to tell you that Sabbaha, this form uh, has three different, it has like, uh, the ulama and the shuyukh, they have like written so many, but we focus only on the Quran. So it one is intensity, as I gave you the example. So we discussed that, yes. Yeah, and one is continuity, consistency. That you do something consistency, continually. So sabbaha is that quality, that you keep on doing something, you don't stop. That's why in the, in the Quran, we sabbaha lillahi ma fi samawati wa ma fi al-ard. Whatever is in the heavens and in the earth is glorifying Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Except, except for insan. We do that, but we sleep. We become Without forgetful. Continuity. We are not continuous. We forget. Uh, we, we get busy in the matters of the dunya. Uh, but sabbaha is continuity. So if someone is glorifying Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, continuously, so that it means it is it includes continuity to do something repeatedly. So one, it has, um, as I told you, one, it has uh, Intensity, intensity then, yes, continuity. continuity. And then the third one, which is the most common, that is the most common is to cause someone to do something. To cause someone to do something. For example, raja'a, you remember the meaning of raja'a? To return. Yes, to, to return, return back. yeah, to return back. Yani by yourself. Raja'atu uh, min Pakistan, I came back from Pakistan. Raja'a, 
means to return someone back. To return someone back, okay? So uh, when, I, when you go to the mall, I went to the mall and then I saw over there. That's why one day I told you the difference between uh, Tanzil and I told you the difference between Inzal. So it was written over there. Yani, Tarji fi thalathati ayam wa irja fi shahar. So yani, Tarji is like, it is like uh, in three days. It, sorry, Tarji is in like uh, uh, in one month and Irja is in three days. So Inzal basically, or a uh, Anzala yunzilu inzal and means to bring down something in one go. For example, inna anzal nahu Both of them uh, have the same implication, by the way, but let's not confuse them. So, to return something and make someone return something that will be tarji. tarji and to make someone return something. So, this is when you cause someone to do something. Zawaja. Yuzawaju, Tazwijan. Zawaja means. To marry someone else. Yeah, to marry someone to somebody. Yeah, to marry someone to somebody. Zawajanahum bihud and in. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala refers to himself that we will marry them to bihud and in, right? So this is not, the person is not marrying by himself. If someone is marrying himself, it will be Tazawaja, Yatazawaju. Because you have to put an effort. So Tazawaja, Yatazawaju means to marry. But Zawaja, Yuzawaju, Tazwijan is to marry someone to someone. So here in Saudi Arabia, when they conduct uh, the nikah of a person, they say, Zawajtu binti, uh, Zawajtu binti, like, yani, I marry my daughter to you. So over there, they use Zawajtu, yani, already done. Because past. Something in, in Hadith also, Ustad, uh, where the Prophet uh, made uh, after he returned from the battle. He mm -hmm. made him to marry the second uh, uh, as a because uh, the first daughter uh, passed away. The second uh, daughter was married to uh, because he's called Horan. Uh, the two uh, lights, right? Yeah, I, uh, one of his. Uh, I can't speak. It's also in, uh, in Surah Zainab. Uh, yeah, with, with the husband, uh, right? Zainab. Zainab, yeah. No, yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. That yeah. we married you to Zainab. You remember if you remember? Yeah, that? Yeah, right, yeah, something like that. Yeah. Yes. So number two, uh, it, it it has intensity, it has continuity, continuity, and now it is you caused someone to do something. So that's enough. Uh, we don't want to discuss a lot because inshallah we will discuss one by one every day so that you don't get confused. Okay. So the main uh, essence is like in and two. We the doer makes someone else to do something, something and then yeah. number number five, the difference is that the doer has to put an extra effort to do thing by to, himself. To to do thing by himself. Yes, like the dabur, like the wakkul, like the fakkur, you know, like the zawaj. So everything that where the person has to put an effort to do something by himself. So basically, number five is reflexive of number two. So in number two, you uh, you cause someone to do something. Whereas number but five, five, we do it by ourselves. Yeah, we do ourselves by putting some extra effort. Effort. Okay. Yeah, because number said, one is... Uh, you said that there uh, are three forms, right? The intensity and the continuity and uh, to cause someone to do. Which one is most commonly, in which context it is used in the Quran? The most commonly used is the uh, when you cause someone to do something. Okay. And uh, it, it is like, uh, so, uh, number th number two and number five and uh, number, number four, they are mm -hmm. used. Uh, they are used extensively in the Quran, yani, and they are the most mm -hmm. commonly used forms in the Quran. For example, in Quran there are many examples. For example, Baddala yubaddilu tabdilan, Bashara. Yes, please continue. Yubashiran. Harrama. Yubhariman. Tahriman. Tahriman. Zakara yadakiru. Tazkira. Tazkira. Tashiran. Tahara yutahiru tatahiran. Azaba. Yes, Azaba, you are debu. Yazibu, Tahiban. Alama, you are limu. Taliman. So uh, these are just very few examples, and there are uh, there are examples from, for example, we use the word Muqaddim, Qaddama yukaddimu taqdiman. And then similarly, we have Kalama yukalimu taqliman. 
Nazila, you Nazilu? Yes, so there are mashallah many examples of this one. So all of them are causative. All of them are causative, Yani, where uh, you cause someone to do something. So most of them, like let's say 80% of them, uh, only sabbaha is like where it has continuity. And, uh, and then, then uh, we have four or there are few yani, verbs in the Quran where it, it shows intensity. Like dhabaha and dhabbaha, and qatala and qattala, and qata'a and qatta'a. So there are like, uh, that are used for the intensity, yes. Okay, so alhamdulillah. Productive, I hope so. Yes, Alhamdulillah, it is clear now. <laughs> so, inshallah, this is just the, yani, we haven't even started book number three. By the time you reach there, inshallah, you will be experts. Inshallah. Okay, let's go back to the numbers. And inshallah, no. uh, hopefully. No, we'll start, continue with this. We, we, we just stop with this verb number six. Okay. We so, continue that. Yeah, okay. So, inshallah, uh, maybe in the next class, because um, if you are able to to recall whatever we have learned today, inshallah, that will be beneficial and helpful. Sure. Slowly but surely, inshallah, we will complete them all. So here, um, different sets that we have talked about. So set number one, here it is like there is a- Three, two. Yeah, the one numbers and two, introduction. One and two. Yeah, number one is introduction. Three. And then number two is the numbers one and two. And the example is very clear, very beautiful example. Waqal Allahu la tatakhidu ilahain ithnaini. Innama, innama is also for emphasis, if you remember. Yes. And hua is also for emphasis. And now you should know that the, the students of the Quran, you should know that how important, even linguistically, it is how important. And aqidah is on the top as well, of course. So our aqidah has to be very, very strong. But at the same time, learning Quran will help us to make our aqidah even stronger. For example, innama, if you remember, innama is used for emphasis, right? Innama al-mu'minuna ikhwatun, if you remember. Indeed, and even it yes. cancels, even it cancels uh, the, uh, the effort of, of inna, yes. the inna on the this thing, and then it yes. becomes uh, and, the, and, and the most common example is innama al-a'malu bin niyat, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, okay. Innama is for emphasis, hua is for also emphasis, because if there is no huwa, still it, it's clear. Innama ilahun wahidun. But huwa is, it has been added for further emphasis. And then ilahun and wahidun is also for emphasis. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is telling us that um, he is the only ilah that must be worshipped and that must be asked for help. No other person, no other uh, entity, no other thing that should be asked for help in no whatsoever case. So innama huwa ilahun ilahun wahidun fa inni farhabun and again fa inni again there is emphasis oh, sure. inni yeah. yeah and then farhabuni again there is uh, emphasis so look here he is only one god so fear only me so all of this is so emphatic so this grammar this quran inshallah and learning of this uh, language and linguistic part will teach us that inshallah that how important it is to learn the Quran. Otherwise, we won't be able to appreciate the beauty of the Quran or the beauty of the language. But now we can really appreciate that innama is for emphasis. It is a nominal sentence. Nominal sentence is stronger than the verbal sentence. Then it is said by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the strongest, then it is in the Quran. So the first emphasis, it is by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The second emphasis, it's in the Quran. The third emphasis, we have innama. The fourth emphasis, we have hua. The fifth emphasis, we have wahidun. And the sixth emphasis, inni. And the seventh is farhabuni. So seven, uh, how many uh, words do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, we have six words and we have seven tools of emphasis. emphasis. So if even if after learning this, if you are not able to correct our aqidah and, and to have the right belief and to have the belief in, in only and only in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that he can only help us, then that means that something is wrong with us. Yes. So they have one doubt to start this uh, hua when it is an additional hua or introduced uh, in the place, it is called by some other name, right, to start? 
It's called, yeah, it has a name. It's it's used for, yeah. uh, it's used for Sun. hasr al qasr, as they okay. use, it's used in Arabic, like it's used, basically used in balagha. And inshallah, we okay. will also learn that as well. So it's used for yeah. just that you restrict something to something. Qasr means to shorten something and hasr means to restrict, restrict something to something. So here we are restricting it only to huwa. And innama is also used for, it, these are called adawatul, a qasr or hasr, where we use them to restrict something to something. Okay. okay, then we have learned the numbers from 3 to 10. And we know that the numbers from 3 to 10 yeah. are used as oh, mudafida, uh, opposite and gender, yeah. and mudafida is all this. And it's jam. So, yes, it's plural. So, thalathata ayyamin, we only look at them, examples, because we have discussed several times, three days. And similarly, arbaata ashhurin. Ashur is also the plural of Shaharun. Um, Shaharun has two plurals. Similarly, if you remember the word Bahrun, Bahrun has also two plurals, Biharun and Abhurun, both of them being used in the Quran. And similarly, Nafsun has the same plural, Anfusun nufus. and Nufus. Yes, it has also two plurals. Then we have learned this again that uh, the same numbers from 3 to 10. Then the numbers from 11 to 12, we know that 11 is Mabni al Fatih, 12 is not. Yes, 12 is yeah. flexible. Yeah, so, yeah. so they, are, they, will, they should be equal in gender. Yeah. Yeah. Other than Madud should be equal in gender. And, uh, and where is Madhu 12? will be singular and mansub. Mansub, that's right, yes. And the 12 uh, is used for feminine. So, fan fajrat, minuthnata, ashrata, aynan. And then 12 springs gust forth from it. Ithnata, ashrata, aynan. 12 springs. So, ayn is feminine in Arabic. So, that's why the first number that we have is also ithnata. And the second and the third must be equal in gender. The first part, normally it's opposite, but we know that in 11 and 12, it's not opposite. Whereas the second and the third part are always equal in gender. Ithnani, 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 and Ithnatani, 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 we know these numbers. So the fifth set, we have the only number one that's used in the Quran is Alayha tisata ashara malakan, malakan being mahdhuf. So over it are 19 angels. So malak is masculine, so that's why the first part is opposite in gender. Tisata ashara malakan. Okay, so before we proceed further, I've done a little bit of work on that as well here. So let me show you. Okay, um, are you able to see the word file? Yes, sir, sir. Can you scroll up, sir? The last file, please. Uh, you mean the previous file? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Sir, it's from 20 to 81, sir. All are same. 20 to 80. Uh, you, you wrote about only de decades. Yeah, we wrote about the decades, but he, 20 to 80, these are being used in the Quran. And also, if you see here, if you uh, to... I mean, sir, all number between 20 to 80 are only decades. No, the decades, like uh, uh, Uqud only, the Uqud. Yes. Not okay. all the numbers. And here it's mentioned here as well that the madud always appears as a tamiz for these numbers. So, so from 20 to 80, uh, the madud will be mansub. Why? Because tamiz is always uh, mansub. So we will discuss about this in, Shala, yeah, in a minute. So that's what I wanted to show you, uh, not this one. You have to figure out there is one mistake. So inshallah, I'm sure now you can figure out here. So for the dual, we use ithnani for the masculine. We're talking about, sorry, we are dual. So number 12, ithnani. And uh, we know that no. if a noun comes on the pattern of ani, it, is, it also comes on the pattern of 
Aini, Aini. So it's Aini, Aini, Aini. Aini, Aini. Aini, Aini. Okay, now here, Ithnani Ashara. Ithnani Ashara. Ithnani Ithnani Ashara. Is there any mistake here? Yes, known as extra. Yeah, okay. Known as extra, sir. And why it's extra or why it has to be dropped? When we have the number or the madud after that, madud. then it has to be dropped. So it becomes ithna ashara. But if there is no madud, sir. Then it's like this as it's written here. Ithnani, ithnani, ithnani. Then it will be like this as it is. That's why I put here ithnani, 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 and then I put with the number. Ithna ashara, taliban, uh, kaukaban, Kaukaban al Taliban, and then it is Ithnaini. So we have to drop noon mm. here as well. So when we drop noon, what is left is ya. So it becomes Ithnai Ashara, right? Ithnai Ashara. And we have discussed that when it is used as a, a marfu, it will be Ithna Ashara. And when it is mansub, it will be Ithnai Ashara. And similarly, when it is majroor, it will be also. Ifnei Ashara, 12. So let's say 12 uh, Taliban. Then we have Ifnatani, Ifnatani, Ifnataini, Ifnataini. So the same thing here, we have to drop noon. Okay, so this is the rule whenever, basically this, the second number is uh, basically Madud is Mudaf here. So whenever we use dual as Mudaf, the noon gets dropped. Whenever we use du uh, dual as modaf, the noon gets dropped. Do you remember the example? Which example is that? Yes. 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 Yadani, right? Yadani. Okay. In and and Surah Naba, the last verse. Yawma yanzaru al-mar'u ma qaddamat yada yadahu. It is yadanhu, right? But when it is used as yada, yes. So it's basically yadan because two hands are yadan. But when it is used as mudaf mudafila, then the noon gets dropped. So ithna ta ashara, ithna ta and then it is ithna taini changes into ithna tayi, and similarly here it will also change into. Okay, and then inshallah, when we go further down, there is a little bit more uh, homework which I did today, and I would appreciate myself if you appreciate or not, because I put some effort. Yes, Irfan? Okay. Yes, sir. Appreciate it, sir. Inshallah, uh, may Allah accept it from us. That's the most important thing. Amen. So, so we have discussed that like Ishrina, Talathina, Arbaina, Ila Tisaina will be used as uh, used as Tamiz, so that's why it is Mansub, Arbaina Sanatan. And what will be the Madud of Arbaina? Tamiz, sir. Singular. Yeah, Madud, yeah, yeah. Singular. Singular Mansub. Mansub. From 18 to? 99, right? From 11 to 99. Okay, and again here, Fajliduhum Thamanina Jaldatan. I'm not stopping. If we stop, we know that we say Jaldah. And if we don't stop, we say Jaldatan. The reason why I am also pronouncing the ending because we are focusing on the numbers and the ending as well. Fajliduhum Thamanina Jaldatan. Yes. Sir, what, sir, what is the plural of Jaldah? Jaldatatun? No, no, no. <laughs> No, no, not, not necessary. It could be Juludun. I don't remember to be honest. But maybe we can get has something like that. Maybe Jaldatun. Maybe Jaldatun, sir. There is a possibility. Add Alif and Ta. Yes. Unless, unless it doesn't have a specific pattern, then we can do that. It's Even not like the plurals have a scale. Yes. So I Even think the most of, have a scale. Is there any? Yes. 
because jilda is not uh, real it's not real feminine you know that it's not real feminine it's uh, unreal feminine so unreal feminine yes. uh, normally uh, so this what, is symbolic alamti sir yes 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 so it's not real it's unreal right so unreal feminine it's not necessary that it will always have atun atin atin normally it has a broken plural we can check inshallah just uh, i'll, uh, I'll try to check it today and get jalda it. will be broken also sir because after some anin jalda you will be broken yes that's right the person will be broken okay then we go to the seventh set and the seventh set we have numbers uh, till 99 or only the number 99 this one so we discussed this yesterday by the way as well in the hada qilahu tis'un tis'un wa tis'una najatun wa liya najatun wahida okay so now number 8 uh, we have numbers 100 and 200 and uh, of course 100 is used as mudaf and yes. madud is used as singular and mudaf ilayh and we also discussed this yesterday yeah. as well fa amata allah miyata amin thumma ba'atha amin thumma ba'atha all right kalakum labistu yes and then we have fi kulli sunbulatin miyatu habbatin and we discussed habbatin habbatin as well we discussed this yesterday as well and now the use of miyatani as used being used as miyatani so Yes, uh, is is someone two hundred sir? Yes, me atayni. That's right. Ani 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 tayni tayni. But remember that the noon will mm-hmm. only be noon noon only will be dropped when after that we have madu. Mm-hmm. If we uh, yes madafile. Mm-hmm. If we don't have madu or madafile, then it will not be dropped. In yakum minkum eshruna sabiruna yaglebu yaglebu me atayni. Okay, yaglebu here. Uh, the noon has been dropped for a reason so as of now because it's a jumla shaqiya it's like there is a condition in has been used over there we have learned that when there is harf lam there is harf lam you remember that when there is an yes, you remember or you forgot them yes sir yeah so when they are used then the mudari yes, yeah the mudari noon gets dropped and here it is it has been dropped because it is conditional sentence So again, here it is, two hundred as well. Okay, number three hundred. We discussed yesterday in detail, and I hope you went through the document today. Hopefully, so it's used as mudafile, thalathu miyatin, and then the number that comes in the end, madud, will be used as tamiz. This number is the only number, and it appears only once in the Quran. So, and we all of uh, all of know when we decide Surah Al-Kaf. Well, I will tell you about it. Of course, the whole Quran, but like, I mean, on Friday, last time I was there, Sinina was the two tisa. So, the last time I was there is one construction, and Sinina is the other construction. Yes, years. This number appears only once. Years. Yeah, this number appears only once in the Quran, and we know this already. If you want to explore it, we can explore it. But I guess since we know about it already, we can proceed further. Salatha miyatin. So the. Salatha miya, arba miya, khamsa miya. Two young men stay in the cave there for three zero nine years, huh? Hmm. Yes. Three hundred years and what increased by nine? nine. Yes. So thalatha mi arba mi khamsa mi. We learned yesterday that uh, it is used as mudaf mudafale, and sinina is the plural of sanatun. Sana. Sana has two plurals, uh, sanawat wa sinu sinuna sinina sinina. Okay, so it's used here as sinina. So it is used since it is used as tamiz. That's why it is mansub. Tamiz is uh, not singular always. it can it's like it's not singular always but it's like always mansub that's what we need to remember about it that if we have 100 years we say what is miya to amin 100 years sir yeah miya to amin yes and 300 100, years 100 and it will be then then 
it will be slash um, like here sir 300 yes but this is the only number which is different number used over here in the quran so if you attended yesterday's class or maybe you were able to see um the recording we discussed that in detail uh, sir uh, this uh, sir uh, this 100 is uh, used when it is like uh, singular and madud will be uh, majroor yeah that's right and pl uh, and not always plural but no. if um, 200 here. 300 yeah only here. Miyati, arbu miyati, miyati, amen, yeah only here only here yes this number appears only once in the quran and uh, if 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 you remember what we discussed yesterday we discussed the numbers from 300 to 900 and then we discussed 100,000, 200,000, we discussed all of them. Shall we proceed? Okay, so our 10th set numbers for 1000 and 2000 and the numbers 1000, what do you remember about 1000? The number after it is mudafil. Like me, yeah. Atom, sir. Like me, Atom. Second. Yeah. Mansub and singular. Singular, yeah. So, Falabi Tafihim, Alpha Sanatim. Singular. Illa Khamsina Amen. So, he stayed among them for a thousand years except for 50. 950, is it? Yes. That if we have two, 200 years, the 2000 years, then. Alpha. It will be Alpha. Al Alpha E, Alpha E, Sanatin. Yeah, Falabitha. So, Falabitha, Alpha. 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 Here, here Madud is plural. Plural. The Madud Sinina is acting as Tamiz for the number. This is one of the rare cases in which a Tamiz is plural as well, as you can see here. If, if we say, sir, 300 cars, hmm? so then how will you trust it? Salatu Sayyaratin. Sayyaratin, that's right. Do you have So this is a cars? special case. In yeah, it's written here, yeah. It's clear, Irfan. I have to rent a parking, sir. Okay. We have 300 cars. We have nearby, so okay, close to the RC building. Okay, so numbers 1000 and 2000, uh, as we have seen here, Falabitha Fihim, Alpha Sanatin, Illa Khamsina. Um, and illa after illa, we haven't learned the use of illa except so after that the noun can be mansub, can be majroor, sorry, can be marfu or mansub. So, inshallah, when we read about illa, then we will come to the third book. yes, inshallah, the third book. Okay, then this 11th set numbers 3000 and 5000, and 3000 is talathu alafin, and 5000 is khamsu alafin. And mashallah, we have Hufad al Quran. You know this verse. Yes, Irfan? Would you mind reading this verse? Sir, Sir Auz Billah, Minash Shaitan al Rajim. Is the Kulu Lil Mu'minin Alain Yakfiakum Ayumidakum Rabbukum Bithala Satiala Fiminal Mala Ikati Munzalin. Okay, Bithala Sati. Bala in Tasbiru Watataku. Yes, sir. Bala in Tasbiru, Watataku, Yatukum in Faurihim, Hada, Yumdidkum, Rabbukum, Biham Satia, Lafim in Al Mala, Ikati Musabimin, Surat Imran, sir. So we here we have Alimran. Yes, Bithalathati, Alafin, and here we have Biham Sati, Alafin. Biham Satia, Allah. Why they are Majroor? T, T, Talathati, or Khamsati because of B. Because of Ba? Yes, because of Ba or Fitcher. Yes. Because, Ustaz, because Malak Malak is, what is that, masculine, so we have the opposite gender coming into place, Salasati. 
Malaika. No, I think Malaika is feminine. Malik is masculine. सिंगुलर लाइक Al Fushahar or Al Fureal in like this, but if you have two hundred and three hundred, then Madud will change. No, but Alf Same has like here. Alf has also its plural as well. Alf has the plural is Alaf and no, also Uluf. No, here like like here, sir. Bi salasati alafi min al malaikati. Okay. So al malaikati is plural. Okay. Yeah, it is plural. So if we have. Uh, let's say if we have sir one uh, thousand malaika, how we'll say? Alfu. Alfu malakin. Alfu malak. Alfu malakin. That's right. Yes. Alfu malakin. So, so it means sir only hundred, only thousand will be considered singular. If we increase, then we will consider the plural. No, no, no. If you are talking about three Just to like ten. Just like here, bisalat. No, no, no. Not, if, If you are talking about three to ten, we will not change the rule. That will remain as it is. Even seven seven thousand. Okay, uh, yeah, it's seven thousand. Uh, we discussed this yesterday, Irfan. I don't know if you yes, if you did if you had the chance to go through the text or go through. I the missed numbers. the class. Sir. Of course, whatever yeah. comes uh, between three to nine, we have to add the, this thing and opposite gender. But what comes after thousand uh, will be uh, like. One uh, hundred and one thousand uh, is very clear, uh, right? One hundred and one thousand yes. is very clear. Yes, and I, we know that. And the I am asking, from, sir, uh, two, three thousand, four thousand, six thousand. Then madud will be plural or singular. This here, if you see here, minal malaikati is a completely different construction. If you saw yesterday's class, please, or if you go through the book or refer to the book, then I guess it will be clear to you. Okay. All right. Shall we proceed? Okay. Okay. Fifty thousand has occurred only once. उटिंग Yeah, please read it. And if you read twenty to ninety, take a thumbs. First, it was written twenty to eighty, and now it's twenty to ninety. Isn't it? I want you to ask this. Yes, earlier twenty to eighty. Yeah, Akud. Yeah, so all the Akud. Yeah, Akud go up to ninety. And if you see the common sense, they go up to ninety. Isn't it? Sir, develop a calculator, sir, for Arabic number, please. Well, I do. You are. We write a number, and Arabic comes out. Only engineers can do that. Yes, only engineers can do that. It's good that we yeah. study. We didn't study in Saudi Arabia. <laughs> okay, so thirteen numbers, one hundred thousand. So one hundred thousand is uh, is easier. Mia to Alfin, as we say in English as well. One hundred is Mia to, and one thousand is Alfin, so it will be Mia to Alfin. Warsalnahu ila Mia to Alfin au Jazidun. We sent him to one hundred thousand or more. So this is clear, yes, Irfan. Yes, sir. Clear, sir. Okay, all right. Now we uh, we change our a uh, track of the train and we get into the ordinal numbers. I don't know if you remember these numbers or not. The ordinal numbers we have learned: awalu, thalim, thalithun, rabiun, sadisun, and thaminun. 
So the numbers, uh, we know that these numbers come on the pattern of failon, except for number one. Because awalu is awalu. Why it's not awalun? Welcome. Awalu. Afalu. Excellent. There you go. It's on the pattern of afalu. afalu. Because we have alif and then wow occurs to be there in two times. The first time it will be sakin, and the second time it will be with fatha. Awalu. And we have to read it twice. So awalu is on the pattern of afalu. Thanin is manqus, and we haven't learned about it. As we can see here, it's naqis. And then from thalithan up to sadison, thasion, and ashiron, it's uh, going to be on the pattern of failon. It's on the pattern of ismi fail, yeah. So, huwa al-awwalu, huwa al-akhiru, huwa al-dhahiru, huwa al-batinu, wa huwa bi kulli shayin alim. So, these numbers and ordinal numbers are clear. There is nothing to worry about. The second of two when they were in the cave. It's thani, it's basically thanin, as we can see here, number two. But if you remember that when it is used as mudaf, then the ya comes back. The ya returns. Yeah, so it's used as mudaf, so that's why ithnaini is. What is the mankos? And again, the next question yes, is mankos, the Hamzatul Vassal, so we have mankos. to put some harka over Yes, that's there. right, yeah. And uh, we know that yes, normally, yeah, yeah, normally, yeah, when we connect it, we connect it with Fatha, if you remember. So it is Fani Yathanaini. Yes, yes, the second of two when they were in the cave. And then, Laqad Kafra Alladhi Naqalu in Allah Thalithu Thalatha. So Thalithu Thalatha. And remember, please. Yeah, and remember, please, that uh, these numbers are also used as Mudaf. Thalithu, that's why it doesn't have tanween. And Thalatha then is Mudafila, it has Kasratain. Similarly, we have Ma Yakunu min Najwa Thalatha then illa hua rabi'uhum, wala khamsa then illa hua saadisuhum. So rabi'uhum, rabi'uhum, so Mudaf Mudafila, rabi'uhum, saadisuhum, and Mudaf Mudafila will be saadisuhum. Wala adna min dalika, wala akhara illa hua ma'ahum, ayna. Okay, and is it Makanu Yamadu? Are you sure? No, Surah Al Majah. Not sure, says my opponent. I don't know. 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 Surah <laughs> And so all of them are used on the pattern of Failon and they have been used as Mudaf, Mudaf Yes, did you want to add something? Yeah, we are almost finished. So fractions. Yes, Do you remember the fractions? We Inna have makanu, summa yunabiyu. It stops the summa rusa, yunabiyu, then yunabiyu. summa yunabiyu bima amilu. Summa yunabiyu bima, yunabiyu bima kanu, ya. Yeah. Yeah, no, no, no. Bima amilu, yom yom qiyama. Qiyama, inna laha bi kulli shayin alim. Alim, okay. Thank you very much. So the fractions we have, this form. We saw that was mujadila, sir. Mujadila. Yes. yes. Ayah number six, It's uh, seven, the third page seven, of, seven. I think, third page of Surah Al-Mujadila. Yes. Seven. The third leaf, yes. Nishwan, half. Thuluthan, one third. Thuluthani, it is also leaf. two thirds. Rubu'un, a fourth. Khumusun, Sudusun, and Thumunun. Okay, so we have the fractions, and we have learned in one of the lessons, if you remember, about the fractions as well. So Nishwan, half. Nishwan is half, which doesn't follow any pattern, whereas half. Thuluthun, up to Thumunun, they are on the pattern of Fu'udun. They are on the pattern of forward on. Okay. Inna rabbaka ya'lamu anna katakumu adana min thulutayil layli wa nishfahu wa thulutayil layli. Min thulutayil layli. Okay. Thulutayil layli. Okay. Come on. Tell me why it is thulutayil layli. Hear it with kasra, sir. 
Yeah, I'm asking you. Why with Kasra? Ah, no, I will not tell you. You need to tell I'm me. I'm the first one to ask. <laughs> Sulu sir, and Sulu Kai, Sulu Kai, because of the name of Allah. Okay, why do we have yas? When I was reading it, yeah, when I was reading it today. So the first thing I thought, why there is ya? Okay, I thought about it. And the second because thing, because of dual. Because of the dual. Why are we copying the noon here? Okay. Yes, yes, let me show you, Irfan. Uh, we need to, that's why I had to spend like, Alhamdulillah, I spent like half an hour. I checked from Mufradat al-Quran from uh, Arab al-Quran and from Tadris al-Quran. Three books I had to check and then I was able to reach. Alhamdulillah, that's, the, that's all and everything is from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. For us, it's only laysa lil insani illa fasa'a. So thuluthan and the dual is thuluthani as we have seen here. And then thuluthani will be also thuluthaini, thuluthaini. Okay, now it is thuluthai we know that it is used as mudaf. So when it is used as mudaf, then what happens? Noon yeah, gets dropped. Yeah. I showed you today. Yeah. Okay. Now ya yeah, here yeah. is sakin. What's the rule of connecting sakin to the next Two one? Two sakins cannot uh, be coming. Okay. Together. What's the rule of connecting sakin? Zabar. La? Zabar. 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 If there is zabar on the previous uh, word, la, la, la. Here, here ya is not, ya is sakin here. And it's not sakin because it is ya sakin. It's it's sakin because of a reason, because of the rules of the, the language. dropping of the known. Yeah. The so when there is sakin, we have to connect it with kasra. Mm -hmm. Yes or no? Yes. You remember? In last page, yes, you connect ya with the ya irfan. I know, I know. We always ya connect with. This is number one. Remember that it is ya al mutakallim. Ya al mutakallim, we connected with Fatha, that's number one. Number two, here, Ya is Sakin. Ya is Sakin here. And it is not Sakin by itself, it became Sakin because of a reason. And what's the reason? The reason is we dropped. Because known is dropped. Known. Yeah. So it was Tuluthaini. That's why I have put everything over there. First, I had to clear it for myself. So. What you see here, ya yeah, here it is sakin. Ya yeah, is what? Sakin. And what's the rule of connecting sakin to the al? We have to make it into kasra. 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 Yes. kasra. So that's why it is Okay, clear now. That's the same thing yes, that sir. came. That's the same thing that came to my mind. Two things came to my mind. Number one, why ya is there? Because we, I was only thinking. But also, we have to look into the previous uh, word also, Ustad. When it is a dhamma or even it is a fatha, we do it a kasra over there. But this has a different rule, is it? No, actually, if we put fatha over there, it will be even difficult to read. Fulus, oh. yal, That's why we put be, a kasra, Ustad. Because be. there was fatha, sulusa, i, sulusa, sulusa. I. So that's why we gave a kasra over there. The kasra we have put it over there only because it was sakin and we put kasra to connect it to the sakin. Okay. All right. Does it make sense to you? Oh my God, what's, what's going on? Already we have problem with the numbers and someone is fighting. Okay, but are you able to uh, understand this point or not? Yes, sir. Because Alhamdulillah, at least I am satisfied. Sir, only ya mutakallim. Sir, only ya mutakallim connected with uh, fatha. Ya mutakallim is always connected with fatha, and then ya has its rules as well. Ya sometimes it is also connected with kasra, but here why it is connected with kasra is because it is sakina. That's why we have put kasra over there. It is sakina. Sakina always connected with uh, Kasra. Yes, Sakin, yeah. And Mutakalli have... with Fatha. Fatha, yes. Except for me. Yeah. Even, yeah. even this okay. uh, noon, noon, uh, this one which comes in Tanween, we do uh, the one which follows with Hamzatul Vassal, we connect it with the Kasra only, Noon Sakin. Uh, noon that's right, kasra, yeah. Right, yes, that? yes, that's yeah, right. Yeah, I got it. Okay. That's Kul Hu Wallahu Ahadun. In Tajweed. Yeah. In Tajweed, when you say Ahadun, Nillahu Sabad. Yeah. 
So that's the reason. That's the reason why we connected with Kasra. It's because Ahadun, and then after that, Lafz uh, al has Hamzat al Wasl. So that's why when that we connected. also in the Tanween, we have known Sakin, and if we have to connect with Hamzat al Wasl, we make it a Kasra over the known. Yeah, that is called Tanween ends noon, with uh, known. That is called known Khutni. Yeah, known yeah, Khutni. Okay. Okay, Ustad. <laughs> yes, I think it's fine even myself today. Uh, I would say that Alhamdulillah, we have completed the numbers. I know it's uh, it's uh, something that requires lots of hard work, but that's how inshallah we will uh, be able the to number, overcome. Mm -hmm. The number completed us, not way completed. No, no, alhamdulillah. I'm really, to be honest, for me, I'm, I'm satisfied, Alhamdulillah, especially after figuring out this, this thing. Because no, I, sir, we have to revise I, I think, again sir, for like a, a period of. Uh, <coughs> sir, we have to revise again for a period no, sir, of. No, sir. I think. Uh, we do like at sir, least five numbers like per day from all these sets. We have to write. We have to write down. Yes. Two at least five numbers per yes, day. Yes, like mathematics. Per sir, we have to write it down, sir. We have to write it down, and we have to find for the reasons and the solutions as well. Yes, All right. It's a prayer time. Okay. You have like now the whole weekend. So three days off. You can go through. You can watch the videos if you want to. Uh, you can also go through the handouts, inshallah. And when we come back, we will start our next lesson. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.